Pancake Bread here, and welcome back to Amnesia: The Dark Descent, Episode Seven. Last we left off, we finally made it through the sewers, and we made it into the chancel, which looks like some freaking giant ass Skyrim room. I feel like I'm about to talk to a, what was it, a demigod or whatever they are. It's crazy. Got a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, pedestal has an orb. I mean, we need to bring an orb to the chancel. Uh, this barrier we need to unlock, probably buy the orb. We need to uh, get a note for Agrippa. Pretty much, we need to fucking do so much. We got so much to do. Outdoors locked, so I don't know what to do here. Uh, last episode we came from there was the sewer. There's the door we need to unlock, and we explored these two areas or rooms. I don't know how to get in that one though. My inventory. We got some meat in a bucket of tar. Is this guilt time for missing ten? If so, blame yourself. You started this. You sent me that letter asking for help, and this is how you repay me. How dare you! Oh. This ain't no help, no dog. There is a black tar in here. Symbols mean. It's so dark now. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should peace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Since the fall of the Israel day, he was able to unshackle the horror you and I connected with the orbs. He used them and was able to travel far and wide beyond the world itself. from this entity apparently. somehow some way let's hope that gear actually fixed this Close all the doors. 
How are things coming? You got the doors open? Good call. I knew you could do it. Oh, nice. Thank you, Grippa. Alright. Left or right? Let's try this way. It is fucking... I gotta turn it up, man. I just cannot see. Like... I don't wanna use up all my lantern oil, though. What the hell is going down there? Some meat. Yup. Who also killed a man? Oh, he was not here. Is that the arson? It's up there, man. Oh, got a little hole in your foot. Let's take this left door. How many cages is there? One, two, five more. Oh, never mind. I thought there was going to be like each room is a person we would discover we killed or something. Which it probably is.
she sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body follow. Her, oh my god, her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. Jesus Christ, Daniel, what the fuck? Jesus, oh dude. Oh god. Imagine the pain. And they're just like, mm, what should we do next? Should we like cut her up or like? It's like, bro, just fucking kill me, man. Hey, like that sound, Daniel. PTSD. at all he's fucking like dude let's dip constantly change what do you mind they all stay together oh let's get out of here dan is not liking it you're fine bro all right i need to find a light and make some progress bro why is my sanity so bad I just wanted to use two. Hey, should I open this? Am I interrupted so? Dude. Okay. Sanity is insane. I get it, Daniel, but fuck, man. Another PTSD attack when you did. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between oh my god, his legs had to blow just up further in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The man the men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Find a way to lower the vessel. Uh, lower the glass jar into the blood. I mean, there's a rope right here. There's literally some rope. Now, how did that guy disappear? He did. Hello, anybody up here? I wonder if that's Alex. That's gotta be right, because I was in the study rooms. That cry speaker's gone. What are 
Alex's attention span. Now it's on torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured out that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creatures can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into the breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are therefore to restrain while the victim is dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture, and then continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage, as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body, su body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't have, or if the victim doesn't behave as expected, it's likely that all will be for naught before this happens. Before this happens. Feed them the amnesia drink. Try again later. Yo, that's the fucking name of the game, dog. So that's it right there. We, Daniel most likely has a bunch of concentrated Vitae. I wanted help. Alexander came in and tricked me just like every other experiment. I'm just another one, but I also helped him. But then he betrayed me. Because I had so much and... I don't know, apparently I guess I was about to escape and... Yeah, he gave me amnesia and now I want to kill him. String. Time for string. Jesus, look at this thing. Oh yeah, I forgot to put that in there. I was like, why is it like standing up like that? Alright, let's combine the string with this. Last draw on a string. Put that thing on. Get that blood. Now we got last jar of blood. Is that everything in here? Pretty much can go explore the other direction. We got what? There's two pieces of glass orbs we got here. Unless there was a third one I missed. If I'm missing one, I know to come back. Up. Oh, I know I did get three. So the other room should have three. Dad, good to see. Shut you up, see you up back. Go to the choir and find the rest. That was my plan, man. Down in the choir. Hello. What's up with these dragon stones? This is seriously Skyrim, dog. Playing Skyrim. As the next series, Skyrim, that would take a while. I haven't even beat it. I've got like, I don't know, maybe 10 hours in and I still haven't beat it. Been wanting to restart it so I could do that. New story mode game, why not? More PTSD, hold up, hold up. And nothing. Alright, what's this? In court, the order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone would notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same. Alexander, who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away. While I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. 
guy? Is he human or is he some fucking like weird ass alchemist? I feel like he's got to be an alchemist who's done some shit, some fucking full brother alchemist shit, bruh. Gripper channels wire. Fire ta taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and he still insists on releasing me. Agrippa. Wait, what? Okay, that might be. This might be Alex. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgust me. I can't bring myself to a part to part from Agrippa, as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Vire claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of, I have seen the deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Avire told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, Vitae and Tamter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be fertile ground for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The Vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I should need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Dampster, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwell in the uh, dwelling geared. I will have to address Vire with this as he will have to supply me with a host. Also a property prepared well should be suffice to contain it. Our bit. So, okay, so we're trying to release a goodie pack. For what reason? Mm, okay, so, the group is banished, and Vyre says if he gets a goodie pack released and alive, him and a goodie can help Alex. But Alex is like, are you sure? And he's like, my honey. And he's like, well, fuck, I can't. How am I supposed to trust you? But we already got the bone with the mucus and the blood, so we just need to go to the choir to get the, the poison. We should be able to get Agrip out. Ah, come on, good old coffee, bro. It's very little. I like this. I like this. Room number one. Some more freaking. Uh, lobotomies, it looks like. The 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry, no time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! But he's not. Look at him. He's just... He's not even... Oh, wait, he's chained up. Oh, no. God, that is such a cool knife, though. So I might, just because of how cool that looks. Yeah, Alexander, that. you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Please, I didn't do anything. Cut the man, cut the lines, paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. 
We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. What the red those rose petals represent? Damn, Daniel's. Daniel's really fucked up. You know, I thought he was some innocent guy coming here to. I don't know, he had amnesia. Shit, this story's not what I, I didn't watch PewDiePie's full series. I, I didn't, this is so much more than I expected. This is a good ass game though. It's fucking couple latches on my face. The man had secured the prison, the ritual began. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. That could very well be true. But I don't care, fuck you, Alexander. Fuck! stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip for just a moment. His knee jerk, and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head... In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took a little while to relax. His eye had ruptured and began to sleep. still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful and you may administer the torture in any way you like, but the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. 
They can survive for days until they finally succumb. did not know what to think of the brass bowl as he was forced to enter it. Only one of the heat of the fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument which was the bull's head. Outside the men could hear the brazen bull bellow. <laughs> yeah fuck that dude y'all are fucked. Fuck 
gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, just run, just run. Run! Run, 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 Oh, I was wearing that shit. I was wearing that fucking shit. Oh. Oh. I'm so happy he can't open doors like that. Agrippa! What the fuck? I'm back and I've got all the ore pieces and stuff to make you go to sleep. Incredible! You found Vile's recipe! That there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Oh, is that what it's working on? A door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, Daniel. Please, find the ingredients and prepare the tonic via this crime. And do so before you assemble the all. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the all, you won't be able to save me. Alright, well... Guess we did get that one note from him. Yeah, this thing. Uh, Agrippa on specific tonic. Well, I have everything. He's my mixture. Um. Uh, uh, okay. The Vitae, the blood, it says it needs to distill properly. So I don't know if I need to do anything more with it or if I'm done. The bone with the mucus looks like it's done because it just talks about the secretion of a creature. And then the fucking internal clan. I need to extract it with the proper tools. I see it. I looked at what I had to do, which I went to the chancel to get killed, to go to a prison. Did a whole bunch, it was probably like, I don't know, fucking 15 to 20 minutes of shit, bullshit. Got here and my game crashed, so I lost all the footage. It's fucking stupid, dude, but I mean, I just, yeah, I got caught, I went to a prison. I mean, I guess I didn't do too much besides escaping the prison, which gave me a bucket full of water and, uh, uh, that might have been it, actually. Yeah, but I don't like the lab, which I need to make the tonic. But I'm pretty annoyed by losing that, but whatever. We're here now. It is what it is, I guess. Just because I loaded... Oh, it was because I loaded this fucking bucket of water in there, dude. What if I grab out of this stuff first? I'm gonna do it. Tonight, we will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just Dude, I better be able to go back there. There's a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farmer, lives with his wife and three children. visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike Zimmerman down without alerting the other. As he went to take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now. Jesus, Daniel. Man, Daniel. It's gonna be as crazy as Alex, man. Oh, there we go. Third time's the charm. I had a freaking. I did this twice already. Oh. 
Uh, I don't. Why did I do that? Apparently, you have to pick up the note first. Otherwise, if you do that, your game just fucking crashes. Where's my sanity? Why am I wa wobbly? somewhere burning the gland well <laughs> do we burn this okay we put that there where's the remain skill oh yeah in there and then the gland where's the gland go with the heating to what get done what do you mean oh like okay get that out you put this in here too There we go. Mm. We got virus tonic. Now we can go save a gripa. A gripa, a gripa. The castle crumbled and I could hear the chancel collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. Oh, it is, it is. I got you. Here you go. Quickly, off with the head. And then, whatever happens, get me through that gate. What? What do you mean, off with your head? And with this? What do I cut you with? My beauty, Johan Bayer, said he found a way to take you with me beyond the stars. I thought he would be paralyzed by this. Alright, dude, just go in here. through all the trials, tortures rooms and shit, and uh, got all the pieces of the orbs, and we got Agrippa's head now, so that's fun. I'm pretty sure the next episode should be the last one. We, I mean, we've got Castle Brandenburg all fucked up, we got his head, and pretty much no more of a story now, so it seems like we just go over there, 
make the orb, and then we could go into the inner sanctum to kill Alex. Sucks that I couldn't get the part me going to the prison and escaping it, but I mean, it crashed, so what can you do? Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, put on post notifications so you don't miss out on the next and last episode of the series. It's Pancake Bread. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.